Morning, y'all. Welcome to day two in the Redwood Forests. Uh, I know last night I said I was going to get up early, but if you know anything about me, that's really not my thing, so. Uh, got me some Taco Bell for breakfast? What time is it? I have no idea. 9.40? So it's not too bad, really. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this little hike on this very busy road. Uh, I think it goes along this river. So we're gonna get the drone up in the air early this morning. And, uh, yeah. We made it down to the creek, river, I'm going with creek, whatever you want to call it. Very cool little hike. I'm going to get, this is pretty cool actually. It was kind of a treacherous hike, but worth it once you get down here. Looks like there's just a parking lot down there. But yeah, I'm going to do a little ripping and roaring around this creek. Check it out. I went to set up my tripod, and I love this tripod, but the only thing I do not like is that the mounting plate, you have to have an Allen key instead of just like a handheld screw, and well, I didn't have it in its little pack yesterday when I was hiking, so I'm assuming it fell off. Which would be fine if it was on my camera, but it's I've mounted it on the Banger Machine 3000 here, and I can't get it off. And that 7200 isn't good in these trees. So I stopped at the one tiny gas station in Podunkville Redwood Forest, and they didn't have anything. So we're backtracking to Walmart, like. 25 minutes but I mean there's worse places to go for a little drive like check this out like 20 minutes to find that Allen key because everything was all the tools were locked up and then I went to get myself a little treat and that stuff was locked up too like they, I've seen that like five times now like they don't trust anybody but all right we're back on the road now we're headed to the Grove of Giants trail which I seen a sign earlier that said that was under what did it say construction or they're uh, fixing it or something so we're gonna see what we find here, but 
grove of giants, I'm assuming that means there's some... I'm assuming that means there's some collections of some bigger redwoods, which is what I'm looking for. So, we got about a 30 minute drive. We'll see you at the trailhead. That thing's a tank. We're in like a rainforest at this point and I'm regretting the shorts because mosquitoes are about to pick me up. So, we might have to pick up the pace a little bit here. Just keep it coming, coming. Yeah, leave it running, running. You know I love it, love it. So keep it thumping, thumping. I hear it humming, humming. Yeah, leave it bumping, bumping. You know I love it, love it. So keep it pumping, pumping. y'all my time in the redwood national forest has come and gone this is this is truly it was everything i expected and more i highly recommend if you get the opportunity to make the trip out here bring bug spray um so with that being said let's talk camera gear so as far as camera bodies i was using my a7c and my a7 IV. Um, and as far as lenses, I really only stuck to two lenses. I was using my 14 to 24, which I'm shooting this with, and my 24 to 70. And really, 70 was even pushing the limits because these trees are truly so massive that you are going to be taking a lot of wide shots. So. I was, I was living pretty much like 18 to maybe 35, maybe 40. And there was a lot of times I was down at 14. Um, so really, I think I reached for my 70 to 200, maybe once or twice, never touched my big telephoto. I mean, like I said, there's just so many trees and it's so thick and you want to get the good wide angled panoramas is what you want. So like, you can pretty much stick to wide lenses. I carried the 24 to 70 just in case I wanted a little reach, but never really ever went to 70. And then obviously I ran around with my drone. I run with the Mavic uh, Air 2S, which I love that thing. It's great. Uh, I carry around a tripod with me too, use it a few times, but really as far as lenses, just stick to your wide lenses and everything and you should be fine. Um, you're gonna get, and as far as when best time to take pictures. Um, the lighting out here is kind of harsh. So you have this thick, like you can see I'm in complete shade, but right there is completely washed out sun. So you kind of deal with this really hard contrast of shadows and highlights. So it's kind of a tough environment to shoot photos and get really good photos the best time by far is if you can get out early in the early morning it's always like at least the three days i was here it was always super foggy which that kind of brings down your highlights a little bit and you get these super kind of sexy foggy morning looks which those were the pictures i liked the best that i came out with um because you get into the afternoon the sun shining and it gets it's it's a little tough but you can still get some really good photos out here um, same goes with video um, but yeah if you can pull yourself out of bed definitely get there 
in the mornings. A, you beat the crowds, and B, you get that kind of picturesque, foggy, creepy, sexy look, which is turns out to look really nice. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Thanks for tagging along. Comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. We'll take what we can get at this point. Um, so thanks for tuning in. See you next time.